I'm going to show you how to uninstall Internet Explorer from servers and workstations. So the first thing you want to do is check that it is installed. So to do that, we can just open the start menu and type iexplore.exe. And then when we run that, it should open up Internet Explorer. Now the easiest way to actually remove Internet Explorer is by using PowerShell. So if we right click the start menu and then run PowerShell as an admin, we can then use the dism command to disable the feature. So the commands we want to run is dism slash online, then slash disable feature, then slash feature name, and then colon internet dash explorer dash optional dash amd64. So if we run this command, it will then go through using the dism command and then disable the Internet Explorer feature. And then it will say, do you want to restart the computer now? As it needs to restart to complete the operation. So if we press Y, that will then restart our machine. Then once the machine's restarted, if we log back in, and then once we're logged back in, if we open iExplorer again, it might say it's still here, because that's because Windows Search hasn't yet updated. However, if we try and run this, it doesn't work. That's because the Internet Explorer application has now been removed. If for whatever reason you want to add it back, we can run the exact same command again in PowerShell. But instead of dism slash online slash disable feature, we just do slash enable feature. So if I do dism slash online slash enable feature, and then feature name, and then internet explorer optional dash amd64 then when i run this it will use the dism command again it's now reinstalled the feature and to complete the operation we just have to restart so if we press y to restart and then after it's restarted if we log back in and then again if we open iexplore.exe it then opens up Internet Explorer as it has now been added back. So that's how to uninstall and reinstall Internet Explorer on Windows servers and workstations.